Hi, and welcome to the LB0 Fox India YouTube channel. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India, and this is the bag I've been using as a go bag for portable and mobile operations. You've seen the bag before, but I've recently made some changes to it since I got a new QRP rig. So uh, let's go through it and see how the bag is now. We'll start with the top outer pocket here. And uh, here I got some cheap uh, headphones, SAS branded, so I got them on a flight. I got the charger for my Surface Go. And in case I should need a big screen, I got a USB-C to HDMI adapter. Moving on to the next room here, we'll open the bag up and take a look. We got pretty much the same contents as last time. We got a little bit of coax, short coax cable here uh, with a BNC in one end and uh, a PL259 in the other. And uh, this is just cheap RG58 coax. Then we have a length of eight five meter counterpoises uh, with a power pole connector which hooks up to the dude spike here, uh, where I can mount any, any vertical antenna, whether it's a hamstick or a 17 foot vertical, uh, like an MFJ 1979, uh, with a ground stake here. So it's an easy way of just deploying an antenna. And if I should need a longer antenna, I got a longer piece of coax here. I think it's about 10 meters. Also got a pen here, and uh, that's about it in the outer pocket here. So let's see what hides in the main compartment of the bag. Let's start with the, the big room here. First of all, I got my brand new QRP rig, the uh, X6100. I got the charger for the X6100 in here, the microphone on top, and a little bit room for more junk if I should need it. I have an NFED half wave, the LB6CI uh, NFED half wave for um, 40 through 10 here. And should I need more power, I have the uh, Hard Rock 50 uh, amplifier here, 50 watt QRP amplifier with a built in tuner. And then we have this little box here with uh, some, some gadgets in it. Let's open it up and see what's inside. In the top compartment here, we have a USB C to USB A cable. We have a USB-C to USB-C cable for the Surface Go, uh, which has been choked, up, uh, choked off with a toroid here. And we have the par power cable for the X6100 with power poles. And taking the top shelf off on the box, we have, we have one of those uh, fancy power meters, uh, which is really good in the field. We got the uh, temporarily uh, offline inline fuse box here. I've done a review on this. Uh, this has been a lifesaver uh, just to be able to fuse pretty much anything on the go. And uh, we have the 12 volt power bank here, which is actually a jump starter for a car. Um, lasts for a pretty long time. Not sure uh, how much power it has. It claims to be. Uh, 10 amp hours here, but um, I would think that is the in, on the internal voltage of the cells. So um, don't really know how much it is in 12, 12 volts, but it's, it's more than enough. And we have some more goodies here in the pocket here. Actually a lot of goodies in the pocket here. We have the charger for the jump starter. We have a two, one to two uh, power pole distro. A couple of power pole cables, B and C to uh, SO239 converter, a 
some uh, QSL cards, a uh, USB hub, if I should need more than one thing hooked up, and a PL259 to BNC adapter. And up on the top here, we have uh, a USB-C to USB-A adapter for the Surface and uh, a multi-charger with uh, uh, Lightning e Mini, uh, sorry, Lightning micro USB and USB-C. And that's it for the inside compartment. And uh, finally, we have the uh, outside pockets. The back pocket here. Let's see if I can get it open here. Holds the Surface Go 2. It's been a lifesaver uh, doing portable operations. And on the final outside mesh pocket here, I carry a PMR radio, uh, the Retivis uh, RT622P. Um, I've done a review on this. It's a small uh, license-free PMR radio. Just nice to have in case I should need something which is license-free. And that's it for my portable Go Kit version 2. What do you guys think about it? Let me know down in the comments. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, 7-3.